What we haven't discussed now is that sometimes there's some laxity to the inner leg and the posterior leg. This happens oftentimes in people that have lost a lot of weight or in people that are in very good shape sometimes but just have very loose skin. What we do in there, it's called the inner leg lift. We put the scar in the groin crease so that you don't see and I anchor that to the bony area so that the scar doesn't migrate down. In the old days, the scar would move down and you could see it almost like in the middle of the thigh and it was very unattractive. But today we try to secure that to the bone keeping that scar right within the cleft or within the groin area. Depending on the severity of the laxity of that leg or the skin, sometimes that scar has to follow the lower part of the buttock called the gluteal crease. If it does follow that crease, then I'm lifting up the posterior part of the leg and the inner part of the leg. So that's an inner and posterior leg lift, putting the scar along the crease of the buttock and along the groin area. That's the inner leg and posterior leg lift. 